A new wave of civilization has just begun, and many of you might not just be ready for it. Across the globe are five major mega projects that will change the course of the world from $35 billion to $500 billion projects so massive they seem almost impossible. These aren't just buildings, they are entire ecosystems, futuristic mega structures, and bold statements of human ambition. These projects are more than just steel and concrete, they are blueprints for the future built on visions of technology and sustainability. To be part of this future, stay to the end of the video, and of course, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe now. Done that? These are the top five largest construction projects in the world. Five, Al Maktoum International Airport, Dubai. In the top five is the Al Maktoum International Airport. Dubai has always been known for making groundbreaking advances in civilization, especially with astounding feats in civil and structural engineering. These have propelled its fast growth in meeting up with developed countries in just a few decades. But unlike many of these developed countries, the city of elegance and riches is moving fast to become the peak of industrial trade and tourism. And what better way to welcome tourists than with a luxury airport? With five parallel runways, 400 gates, and an annual capacity of 260 million passengers, this $35 billion project is set to redefine global aviation. Spanning 70 square kilometers, larger than Chicago O'Hare, Dallas-Fort Worth, and LAX combined, this project is not just an airport but a city. Its first phase, which is set for completion by 2030, will handle 150 million passengers, surpassing Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson, the world's busiest airport today. Future phases will see the addition of concourses, a metro connection, and further expansion, ultimately shifting all Dubai International Airport operations to DWC within a decade. The airport's five independent runways allow for simultaneous takeoffs and landings, ensuring seamless traffic flow. Its 12 million ton annual cargo capacity will strengthen Dubai's logistics dominance, while an automated people mover will connect massive terminal sections for easy passenger navigation. But it is not all about air travel. In fact, this masterpiece is the centerpiece of Dubai South, expected to house 1 million residents and generate hundreds of thousands of jobs. As part of Dubai's D33 agenda, which aims to double the city's economy by 2033, the airport will fuel demand for housing, hotels, and tourism-related businesses. This isn't surprising. From its early days as a modest trading hub to its meteoric rise after oil discovery in 1966, Dubai has consistently invested in ambitious infrastructure. Now, with its strategic focus on trade, tourism, and finance, Additionally, Emirates and Fly Dubai will relocate to DWC by 2034, which will solidify its status as a premier global hub. Of course, such an enormous project comes with challenges. Managing the transition from Dubai International Airport would be hard, but we have seen Dubai win against difficult challenges, and we hope this will also be a major win project. Fourth, South North Water Transfer Project. In fourth place is the South North Water Transfer Project in China. It is no news that China's landscape has shaped its civilization. There are the Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, which have been lifelines for millions in providing fertile soil and water for agriculture. But there is just one problem, the North. While the South had an abundance of water, the North seemed to be cursed with dryness. In fact, a staggering 94% of China's population lives in the eastern half of the country, which puts immense pressure on water supplies and indirectly on the lives of thousands of residents. But where there is a problem, there's always the echo of a solution. This birthed a mega project, a system that would distribute water from the south up to where it is desperately needed. The idea of this project came from the one and only Mao Zedong himself in 1952, when he addressed this same issue. And 50 years later, in 2002, China approved the South North Water Transfer Project, one of the most expensive and complex infrastructure projects in history. This project took three routes, the eastern, central, and western. The eastern route starts near Yangzhou City and follows the Grand Canal, the longest man-made waterway in the world. It makes use of underground tunnels that are over 1,100 kilometers long and massive pumping stations to send water north. The central route happens to be the most challenging of the three routes, with no natural water channels, so China raised a massive dam by 15 meters to allow gravity-fed water flow. To make this project successful, over 300,000 people had to relocate to make way for new canals. In 2022, China started building a one kilometer deep underground tunnel to bring more water from the Three Gorges Dam. The western route, though still in planning, cuts through mountains in the highest regions of China. 
It is expected to be completed by 2050. It could provide water for up to 100 million people, but at a huge environmental cost. With water pollution from industries, especially along the canals, and the risks of earthquakes disrupting the tunnels in the west. So, after spending over $62 billion, has China solved its water crisis? Well, not exactly. Some parts of the country have started benefiting from the water distribution, but the majority of the other parts haven't been privileged yet. Which takes us to the next project. 3. The International Space Station In third place, and at a cost of over $100 billion, the International Space Station took over a decade to complete. The cost of these projects is carried by the major investing countries and bodies, 25 countries in Europe, the United States, Russia, Canada and Japan. And no, it isn't that these nations have so much to drop at once. These funds have been shared for almost 30 years between all participants. The International Space Station, a testament to human ingenuity, took over a decade to assemble. Its construction relied heavily on the space shuttle, ferrying massive modules into the unforgiving vacuum of space. The ISS travels at 20 times the speed of sound, orbiting Earth every 90 minutes. The ISS is 356 feet, which is also 109 meters end to end, with a mass of 925,335 pounds without visiting vehicles. The solar panels cover one acre. There is 13,969 cubic feet of habitable volume for crew members, excluding visiting vehicles. It also has seven sleeping quarters with the ability to add more during crew handover periods, two bathrooms, a gym, and the cupola of the Earth. There are two main sections to the station, the Russian orbital segment, which are modules from Russia, and the United States orbital segment, which consists of modules from the US, Europe, and Japan. One beautiful thing about the ISS is that it orbits the Earth at an altitude of approximately 250 miles, with its orbital path taking over 90% of the Earth's population. Its main construction was completed between 1998 and 2011, although the station continually evolves to include new missions and experiments. But we know this is the least of the concerns here. The curiosity to ask for the cost is quite evident. So how much does it cost to run this continuous project? Second Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor, India. Next is the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor. It's understandable if you find it unbelievable that India would be included in the top five biggest projects the world has ever seen exist. Very understandable considering the high rates of poverty. However, this country holds a $90 billion investment, ranking among the largest infrastructure projects in the world and is designed to boost India's manufacturing and trade sectors. And the fact is that India needed a new industrial revolution. With over 350 million people expected to migrate to cities within the next few decades, urbanization was the key to economic growth. India needed more cities, better infrastructure, and stronger industries. Basically, about 500 new cities needed to be developed. The industrial corridor covers 1,500 kilometers, running along the western dedicated freight corridor, a transportation backbone that will streamline logistics and supply chains across the region. The project spans six Indian states along with Delhi, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Haryana. By 2021, major infrastructure development was completed with 138 plots covering 754 acres allocated to companies. The corridor will boast nine industrial megazones, a high-speed railway, six airports, three ports, roads, additional railway lines, and a 400 megawatt power plant. It is set to become a model for future projects around the world and position India as a manufacturing hub. The goal is to have double employment, triple industrial output, and quadruple exports. To achieve this, 24 investment regions and greenfield smart cities were planned. These cities were designed with cutting-edge technology, automated transport systems, renewable energy grids, water recycling, and AI-powered infrastructure. India's national manufacturing policy aimed to increase manufacturing's contribution to GDP from 16% to 25%, creating 10 million skilled jobs. To achieve this, DMIC introduced National Investment and Manufacturing Zones, NIMZs, integrated industrial hubs with a single window approval mechanism to fast track business operations. And well, we look forward to the next decade to see massive results. 1. Niam City, Saudi Arabia. Our number one spot is one of the greatest mankind has ever seen. This project is designed to be a living laboratory that will house cities, towns, ports and enterprise areas. It aims to accommodate over 1 million people by 2030 and has an estimated cost of around $500 billion. 
This mega project is the Nayam city, initiated by His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia in 2017, which has turned out to be a vision designed to set a new global standard for the future. Skyscrapers, elevators and flying cars cannot even compare to it. Within the Neom city vision is the line, which started in 2021. The line is built down the Red Sea between Saudi Arabia and Egypt. This revolutionary development consists of two parallel skyscraper mirror walls, each 1,640 feet tall, 656 feet wide and stretching 105 miles long. Think about the walls of Jericho. The line is designed to be entirely powered by renewable energy. This project eliminates the need for cars and would instead rely on a high-speed underground rail system that will transport residents from one end to the other in just 20 minutes. Between the mirrored structures, an open green corridor will provide a lush, walkable environment for up to 9 million residents. The city will also be equipped with an advanced AI-driven infrastructure intended to optimize urban efficiency and sustainability, though some critics argue this level of surveillance could be intrusive. So, what do you think? Are these projects the future we need or just some ambitious experiments by the wealthy, influential and powerful? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more stories about groundbreaking projects and other interesting construction videos, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.